What's up, beautiful and handsomes? I have a few new subscribers. So, welcome to my channel. I am Amber Sobley Uniquely Fit, if you didn't already know. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Today, I'm going to be talking to y'all about the in and outs of an emergency fund. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, first things first. What is an emergency fund? Good question. So an emergency fund is money put away for unexpected events. And I'm not talking about you breaking your nail out of thin air and you need to get it repaired or setting up a hair appointment because your hair got messed up by accident. This stash that you build is for real emergencies, like you lost your job or some life-threatening medical situation came up and you need surgery or you got car troubles like you need a new engine or uh, a new battery or something like that you know things along those lines these situations that I mentioned can be very stressful and expensive no one wants to be burdened with finding a way to pay for unexpected financial situations but I mean Saving for a rainy day is almost like a foreign language to most people. According to a study in 2012, there were 26% of the participants who had unpaid medical bills. 22% of them overdrew their checking account. 14% took out a loan from retirement. 10% took a hardship withdrawal from their retirement account. 13% had more than one late mortgage payment. And 3.5% had filed bankruptcy. And I don't know if these participants overlap in these different um, categories, but this research was done by FINRA, Investor Education Foundation, National Financial Capability Study. I know that's a lot. So I'll put it up here somewhere so y'all can see who it was done by if you want to do a more in-depth study on that. Um, but that's the numbers that came from them. And even though that's not a lot, that's still that's still a, a big chunk of people. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to keep myself out of all of those categories. <laughs> so if you ride in that wave, keep watching. An emergency fund should be at least three to six months of your expenses. And I'm not talking about... Everything that you spend money on, I'm talking about the things that you need to survive. So your mortgage or your rent, your groceries, your transportation, whether it be your car payment, your car insurance, gas, you know, stuff like that. Personal expenses, you know, your personal hygiene products, um, stuff for the wherever you stay, like your laundry detergent or whatever you use to wash your clothes, whatever you use to wash your dishes, you know, stuff like that, stuff you need to have for day-to-day -day function if you watch my last finance video you know what I'm talking about it's basically anything in that needs section if you did not watch my last finance video it's okay you ain't miss all the way out because you know what I can do for you I can link it right up here on whichever side it's gonna be on and that way you can watch it later because I love you <laughs> that's how much I love you moving on so let's say you have more than one financial goal Say you want to save for your retirement, you want to pay off debt, you want to put money aside for your kids, you know, future, whether it be for school or whatever. How do you prioritize that? Personally, I feel like it is all dependent upon what you are trying to do, what you want your focus to be. I know for me and my boyfriend, it's more so paying off debt and building our emergency fund. I know that we've actually had to use our emergency fund in the past so for us the emergency fund is really important uh just in case something happens we know we're covered and we don't have to stress or worry about how we're gonna pay the bills because we had to take some of that money that we use to pay bills or to do whatever else we do to pay for that unexpected expense so that is really important for us um also paying off debt because we're trying to be debt free in a specific time frame so really being aggressive with paying down our debt so that we can be debt free. But that's just us. Like maybe your situation is different. Maybe what you want or what you need is different. Um, maybe you're older. So a retirement, you know, your retirement savings might be a lot more important than an emergency fund or something like that. Like you need something for so you can sit down. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's all dependent upon your situation and what you want to focus on. And of course, like once you have completed the other financial goals that are more important to you you can work on those other financial goals as well so it's not like you're just um 
abandoning those other goals. You're just putting it on the back burner for the moment until you get your priorities handled. That's all. As far as where to keep your emergency fund, it should be somewhere that's easy to get to. So no stocks, no bonds, no other type of investment accounts. It needs to be something like you can get to right now if you need to. So a check-in or savings account would be perfect. I recommend somewhere separate from your personal savings and your personal check-ins. Um, kind of like an out of sight, out of mind type mentality but that you can still get to lastly these benefits if nothing else will convince you to take your emergency fund more seriously you will have financial stability like that's enough for me if that's not enough for you it's okay i got more <laughs> it keeps your stress levels down not knowing where you're gonna get your money is stressful the more prepared you are the better you can just sit back, relax, and not worry about nothing. And that's a good feeling. Um, it also teaches you discipline with your money. Because if it's in that separate bank, you'll have to go get it. And if, there, if the expense is really not an emergency, you'll second guess going to that bank during business hours to go get that money out. Because that's going to be a lot of work. And you might just be like, you know what? It's not even a real emergency for real, for real. So I need to fall back. I need to fall back on this money, save up if I want it, or not get it. It's really not that important. Woo! I know I dropped a lot on y'all, so I'm going to let y'all simmer on that for a few weeks. Next month is all about investments, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you turn your notifications on. That way you stay locked in and you don't miss nothing. Until next time, beauties and handsomes, peace.